So, we're agreed. France gets the city of Pinarillo and the bishopric of Metz, and to Sweden goes Western Pomerania, Wismar, Stettin, and the islands of Rugen and Pearl. Oh, lovely. And England, for applying within 28 days, gets this charming carriage clock. <laughs> Much indeed. I'm very kind. Right. Well, I think that concludes our treaty. Uh, gentlemen, a toast. Peace in Europe. Peace, Peace in, in Europe. Europe. Excellent. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, what is it what? now? Why are you interrupting? What? Forgive me, Ambassador, but what about Luxembourg? <laughs> He's right. Nobody owns Luxembourg. France. I thought you owned Luxembourg. No, we thought it was Dutch. Sweden? No, we thought it was Belgium. England? Well, we just knew it was on the continent and didn't give a toss, really. <laughs> It looks as if Luxembourg has slipped through our net, doesn't it? Well, we've got a country going up for grabs. Anybody right. interested? Is it Protestant? Uh, mostly Catholic, I believe. Uh, let's just use it for storage. Oh, yeah, good. Good. Uh, no, that's good. No, it's not one. good. Uh, someone's got to take it. Come on, who wants it? What's it consist of? The small state of Luxembourg is a charming reminder of how Europe used to be. Plague victims crawl elegantly <laughs> down its dung-filled streets, greasing the way with pus from their... Bubos, while at least two children a week are burned as the devil in the handsome market square. <laughs> the town boasts two taverns, one humorous dwarf, and a shop that sells little things made of straw. Yeah, sounds like Stevenage. <laughs> well, um, who wants it then? Well, we don't want it. We've already got to do up West Pomerania, not to mention Wismar and Stettin. France has no need of Luxembourg, although I do quite like the sound of that shop selling little things made out of straw. Yes, yes, that shop is an economic bonus, isn't it? All right, I'll take it, I'll take it. Good, excellent. So, Luxembourg goes to Sweden. No, 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 hold on, hold on. You can't just give Sweden another province. But you didn't want it. Well, yeah, but that means that they've now got Western Pomerania, Stettin, and Luxembourg. That's not fair. We need Luxembourg to store our pickled herring. Why can't you store them in Sweden? Oh, the whiff. <laughs> you Swedes and your pickled herring. Why can't you eat a proper fish? What's wrong with pickled herring? Well, nothing if you're Swedish. No, gentlemen, please. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, no, well, come on. Just because we all hate the Germans doesn't mean we have to like the Swedes. Oh, the Swedes are all right. Or well, they hate you. No, they don't. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't. <laughs> we don't hate anybody. Well, you should. Makes life more fun. <laughs> Look, all we wanted to do was protect the Protestant princes. Oh, really? Yeah, right. Really. You didn't fancy just kicking some German ass. <laughs> That's why we were there. That's what rather appealed to us, too. <laughs> Gentlemen, please, let's not unravel the tapestry of this treaty ere the shuttle has crossed the loom. What? Let's not, let's not cock it out now. We're so uh, close. Oh, oh, I, I, I have a proposal. Why not split Luxembourg in two? Sweden can get the east and France the west. Excellent. Oh, that's, no, that's good. good. And that's good. good. Uh, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. what do you sorry. want now? Uh, forgive me, Ambassador, but is it truly wise to divide a land in so wild and ragged a fashion? In future years, there will be Swedish Luxembourgers and French Luxembourgers, Protestant and Catholic, both at each other's throats. Oh, well, I, I, I don't know. I think that'll give journalists of the future something to write about. No, I'm satisfied with this. I think this is good. I think, um, I think in the future all our petty squabbles over Europe will be forgotten. It'll just be one, one huge state, probably with a single currency. Oh, hurrah! Yes. That's a nice thought. Uh, yes, it is. I, I'm going to have to opt out over that one, I'm afraid. <laughs> We're more interested in our new colony in America. Yes, uh, America. 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 Uh, America. America has given us nothing but tobacco and potatoes and uh, that new high grade narcotic that you're so fond of. No. <laughs> I think on the crucible of war we have forged a new Europe. Right. So who's for. Uh, Pint. Half litre. Marker. Bitter. Finest claret. Oh, I'd love a pickled herring. <laughs> Sweet, and you pickled herring, oh, honestly. Me. Well, it's oh, getting... I, I really... Forgive oh, me. Oh, she's back. I, what now? Forgive me, Ambassador, but there is one more task. The savage land of the Balkans. Oh, Coetus. We forgot the Balkans. Uh, <laughs> well, look, here we are. One, two, three there. Look, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Kosovo, Greater Serbia. Everyone satisfied? Well, well whatever. Very very I think, gentlemen, we have guaranteed the peace and freedom of Europe for a, forever. 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 Uh, may I say, Ambassador, that with this historic redrafting of the European borders, you are really spoiling us. <laughs> These, on the other hand, are revolting. <laughs> and so, with lightened hearts but heavy irony, the treaty was signed.